This is my work for the 8th grade show by Ava Edglin. Self-portrait. I use pencil and watercolor. This piece is a portrait of myself. I chose to do different shades of gray as my color. I added shading all around the face to make it look as real as possible. I did the watercolor background blue to represent my favorite color. Overall, drawing the portrait was pretty difficult, especially the shading, but the watercolor background was easy. This is my sunset piece and I use Procreate. This piece is a sunset on the beach. I use a digital platform for this project so I can get the realistic glare that is coming from the sun. This piece represents how I like going to the beach. Overall, this piece I really liked. My favorite thing about this was the orange, pink, and purple blended background. For this sun and moon piece, I use Procreate. This piece is half sun and half moon. The moon side has a background with stars in it and the sun has a yellow tint around the flames to make it stand out more. This is one of my favorite pieces. Although it doesn't have too much detail in it, it doesn't overwhelm me with colors. For this piece, I used colored pencil. I drew a nature scene with the flowing river and some butterflies. To show that it was daytime, I added a sun and bright blue sky. This art represents how my favorite insect is a butterfly. Overall, I think this piece is okay because I feel my grass was a bit plain, but otherwise you can tell what the setting is. I used Procreate for this piece. And it's a snowy mountain range setting with the lake. I added white fluffy clouds and a light blue sky to add a variety of shades of blue. I also added snow on the trees and mountains so you know that it was actually snowing. This piece represents snow and I enjoy going sledding in the snow. Overall, this piece is my favorite. All of the colors go well together and it looks pretty realistic. This was supposed to be a self-portrait of me, but it didn't really turn out that way. It doesn't look like me at all except for like the hair kind of. Uh, this is a baseball field on a clear day. It turned out really good in my opinion, but you can see my pencil lines. This is a nod to pop art, so I made a LeBron jersey. It turned out better than I thought. I think it's my best piece yet this year. This image is like a flipbook, but it's on one page showing the movement of the ball. I like the way it turned out, but I should have added the red stitches on the baseball. This is a picture of a castle wall with a moat and a flower garden surrounding the path. I like the way it looks. It's probably my most vibrant piece this year. This piece is a memorial to Kobe. I like how it turned out and the image has a lot of bright colors. For my self-portrait, I first drew myself from a picture I have at home. I then wanted to make it look like lightning was coming off me, so I drew that. This is a painting that I didn't like much, but it's nature overgrowing a building. Might not look like much, but it's nature reclaiming its land back. This is a tree that I made with slight curves and spacing in between the tree. It might not look good, but I like how I, I did it. This, is, this was a mountain that I used watercolor to make it colorful. Might not look like much, but it goes a long way. I used digital paint to make a half real, half fantasy tree. Kind of like the overworld and the underworld. This painting is a painting of a mountain range with a river and two small islands. The mountains attract the eyes away from the island so people look at the less detail from the islands. Hello, my name is Jade, and this is a self-portrait I made. This self-portrait shows my personality. For this piece, I used an art media called Digital Art in order to give it a realistic, but yet a cartoonish look. An important part of this piece would be the stroke order I used in order to make the pattern match my reference picture. Overall, I don't really like how my hair turned out, but this project allowed me to explore different kinds of brushes and techniques for future projects and self-portraits. Our piece number one, Daisy Dove as the Mona Lisa. This is one of my watercolor pieces and one of my favorite pieces this year. Since my theme this year is Disney, I decided to make a parody of the Mona Lisa as Daisy Duck with a toad town in the background. Overall, I like how my background turned out, but I know I could have did better on making the brush strokes softer in the sky to blend it out more. And I could have used lighter colors in the sky to let the building stand out. 
Art piece number two, the Ishtar Gate as an entrance. This is another watercolor piece I did that showed the Ishtar Gate as an entrance to a Disney park. And I used Disney Epcot as a reference. An important part of this piece is the sky. And in order to give it a calm look, but not making it blend in with the gate, I painted the sky with light pastel colors so that it would show a happy and peaceful mood. Overall, I really like this piece. It fully shows my thought process, but I still think the brush strokes could have been neater than what it shows. Art piece number three, Toontown. This is an art piece that I did with digital art. For this piece, I wanted to contrast a sad and happy mood combined, so I drew an old Disney park with the dull and rustic colors, then drew a brightly lit Disney castle in the background. Overall, I'm really proud of myself on how this piece turned out. This piece really was able to represent my thought process. Art piece number four. This is another piece I did with digital art. For this project, I wanted to go off of Monet's style, so I focused mainly on the sunset. I also added in clouds to help set the mood of the picture. Overall, I'm very happy with how this project turned out, but for future reference, I think I should practice making clouds digitally to make them a little more realistic. Art piece number five. This art piece is done with colored pencil. For this piece, I wanted to make a vintage Disney-inspired Polaroid. An important part of my piece would have to be the pencil strokes I used in order to create an old look. Overall, I really like my piece, but I think this piece could have turned out better if I had picked out better colors and made the background look a lot smoother than what it is. <clears throat> this is my self-portrait. The medium that I used for this project was colored pencils. This piece is an ABC transfer. This is how I see myself and how I think I look with my eyes, my hair, etc. In this piece, you can tell that I used many shades of brown and used some red for some tint. I also use multiple colors for my skin tone since it is hard to get all the colors correctly. At least my, so I use many different colored pencils for my skin. Um, at the end of the project, I like how it turned out. Um, I like how there's many different colors in my skin tone and my hair. <clears throat> For this project, I use colored pencils and marker. In this piece, I use the phrase that one of my favorite singers, Harry Styles, says all the time. And he also uses it for his merch, Treat People with Kindness. I use some flowers for my theme and some fruits because the fruits that I used in this project, some of his songs are titled such as watermelon sugar, kiwi, and cherry. You might have heard it on the radio. Um, I really enjoyed working with this piece because I knew right away what I was going to do and I was going to, like how I was going to do it. And I really liked how it turned out with all the colors, like the combinations. <laughs> For my art piece number two, the medium that I chose was a photo collage. Um, this piece is an aesthetic wallpaper of Harry Styles. I chose a color green because I feel like it would look great because he has green eyes and it's one of my favorite colors. I use a green wallpaper and as many pictures of him in green. Um, this was kind of hard to set up because I needed to get like a lot of pictures ready and I had to wait a while to actually get my pictures from my store. Um, I also didn't really know where to put my collage at because like there's not that much room on my walls, but overall, I think 
I like how my project turned out. I think it looked really good. So yeah. <clears throat> For my art piece number three, the medium that I chose was watercolor. Um, this is one of my favorites that I did. It's a, a romantic flower called a rose. Um, I ended up using a rose instead of a different flower because I felt like a rose would be more romantic. And I thought like my theme would go for like Valentine's Day. Um, in the beginning, I didn't know like what to do. Like I didn't, I'm not that good at watercolor. But um, I liked how I ended up looking a lot. Um, I love how the reds, in some places, it's darker, like like the value. And, like, I like the background with the pink and the red together. <clears throat> for my art piece number four, the medium that I used was watercolor. This is a piece with flowers on a summer night. When the sun is coming down, I felt like... It would look good together. Um, I tried to put some stars in the background with some white paint, but it didn't really come out how I expected it to. Um, I liked how the blending of my pinks, blues, and purples combined to make a a good galaxy effect in the background. I like the colors that I used for the flowers, the hot pink. Um, I like how some parts are darker than the other. Uh, I like the blending of the colors that I used in the beginning of the flower and gone out with the hot pink, started with orange, and then go with hot pink, blend them together. I like how I looked at the end. Of the, at the end. Okay. So, for my art number five, I chose to do colored pencils. For this piece, um, the flowers that I chose was a lotus flower. And also, I used some little pads. Kind of made like a pond. That was my idea. I like to the background because I did different colors of blues. And I made a uh, texture with it. Um, I was also shading some areas to make it get darker for like value with different colors of blues. I wanted it to like pop more. When it had a pop in my head, I was happy and excited to start working on my project. And like, I was in a good mood. So... I also really like how it turned out, my piece turned out. I wish I could have maybe used more pinks and used some shading with it. Make some areas darker than the other. Um, but like, other than that, I think my piece turned out good. I like how it, it looked at the end of it. self-portrait I drew for our self-portrait project. It was difficult for me because I felt like it didn't look good, but it looks better now to me. Art piece one. My medium for this project was colored pencils. I always loved Mario and Nintendo games since I was younger, so for this project I decided to draw Yoshi since it's my favorite character. Uh, for the color i decided to do green because that's like the main color and for the background i decided to draw things that you usually find in mario games art piece two my medium for this project was watercolors since among us was getting really popular at the time and i really liked the game 
I thought I'd do something with the game. So for this, I drew my character with like and for the background being a bunch of windows behind it, and my little character who was thought to be an imposter floating in the background. Art piece three. My medium of this project was procreate, and I decided to draw a rainbow lollipop for this project. I wanted to do this in like a fun cartoony type of way, so I decided to do a bright colored rainbow lollipop with a pink and purple bow on the stick. Art piece 4. My medium for this project was procreate. For this free project I decided to do a jellyfish that um, was in the deep blue sea. So I did a pink jellyfish with a bunch of little likes. Art piece 5. My medium for this project was procreate. For this free project that I did myself, I wanted to do a sun in the sky. I wanted to do this basically on how I felt, so I decided to draw a sun appearing out of the clouds. Medium digital. Tell me about it. First, I used Snapchat to make first version of my face then i combined my regular photo and my filtered one to be my split face and i put it in picturely and i drew on it reflection i think i could have did better on the tone side and the uh, next time i think i could have drew it myself medium color pencils tell me about it when we was doing our notes and we was talking about old stuff underwater so i decided to do mickey mouse underwater finding a really old souvenir in reflection i think i could have did better on the drawing m more on the sea animals like more sea animals medium color pencils tell me about it we had to do a project in gray so i decided to do the famous photo of mickey mouse driving a boat singing in gray reflection i could have did better on the boat in the wheel of the boat Medium color pencils, tell me about it. In our notes, there was a theater, so I put Mickey Mouse in sitting in front of a theater reading a book. Reflection, I could have did better building the background of the building. Medium color pencils, tell me about it. I did the Flintstones in their cave taking a picture. Reflection, I could have did better on the fire, like put the fire on the floor. Medium color pencils, tell me about it. We had to do a split face and I picked to do Zuzubia, like I have bunny, half fox, reflection. I could, the one thing I think I could have did better on is the clouds on top, make the clouds look more realistic. Medium color pencils, tell me about it. We had to do a split face and I picked to do Zuzubia. Like I have bunny, half fox, reflection. I could, the one thing I think I could have did better on is the clouds on top, make the clouds look more realistic. My first art piece I did in color pencil. My theme is Star Wars, so I made the Millennium Falcon. Uh. I'm proud of this piece because I did a great job on it with the shape. And one thing I don't like about it is that I didn't shade it. For my second art piece, I did photography art. I like Star Wars, so I drew a lightsaber in my hand. I could have been more creative with the lightsaber. And one thing I like about the art is the background. Uh, for my third one, I did color pencil. I uh, created this because it's one of my favorite anime characters. I think I did well in the drawing. It's not sloppy. One thing I don't like about it is that it has an uncomplete background.
for this uh fourth one i did pencil and color pencil i made this because it's my second favorite character from the anime i watch one thing i like about this is the colors the one thing i don't like about it is the incomplete background for my fifth art piece i created crown and color pencil well i created the millennium falcon and the x-wing chasing it because it looks cool one thing I don't like about this is the background. It looks like I rushed. Oh, one thing I like about it is the ships. For my self-portrait project, um, I used acrylic paint and laminated paper. We had to make self-portraits. This was rather hard for me because all the pictures I had at the time were hard for me to draw, mainly because of my hair. Um, in reflection, I wish I would have went for a less cartoon version of my facial features and inverted the picture when I was tracing. For my color pencil project, I used color pencils. For this project, we were learning about different ways to hold color pencils to get different lines and textures. My theme is sunset, so I colored one for my picture, and I added birds because it was kind of boring without them. So in reflection, I wish I would have blended out the colors in the sunset so they didn't look so separated. For my watercolor project, I used watercolors. In the painting, we had to use what were at the time, new paintbrush techniques. For example, we used wet in a wet or a glaze. So I painted a sunset over the bridge. In reflection, I wish I would have blocked out the spots for my lily pads and blended the parts where the water and the sunset come together. For my storytelling project, I used watercolor and color pencils. We learned about how back in the Stolen Age, they used rocks and other things that came from Earth to create art, to tell a story. I decided to recreate the stone hedge the stone hedge and painted a sunset as the background to incorporate my theme. In reflection, I think I could have done the shading on my rocks a lot better. For this art piece, I used a shoebox and acrylic paint as my medium. We had a choice between different types of art and we, that we had learned about, and I chose to do installation art. I decided to paint a sunset and a galaxy inside of a shoebox as my installation art project. I wish I would have paint, planned out how I was going to paint because I painted the sides first and made my project a lot harder by doing this. For this art piece, I chose photography as my medium. This art piece is from a free theme project that we did. Even though we didn't have to, I chose to stick to my theme, which is sunsets. This is one of my best pictures I've captured of a sunset and by far my favorite in reflection. I think this went as good as it could have went. This is my 8th grade digital self-portrait. The medium I used was digital art because I created this on a drawing app on my iPad. I used a brush that imitates paint textures, so it looked more like a traditional medium even though it was done online. And I had a photo of myself that I used as my reference. This is one of my first attempts at realism and I learned a lot during this project. For example, one thing I learned was that skin tone is harder to color in than it seems at first because instead of being a flat tone, it can change depending on what part of the body you're coloring because, for example, your cheeks are pinker than your forehead, your eye sockets are darker than other shaded areas, and etc. This is my first art piece. The medium was colored pencils on paper and in this art piece, I learned new techniques such as different ways of drawing grass. In this piece, the grass was drawn using multiple different colors and not just green. There are flecks of red, blues, and yellows in the grass as well. I also learned about drawing trees. I learned how to draw different segments of the branches of a tree. And I added texture to the tree by using the same color that I colored the tree in with more pressure to create a bark lines and I also learned how to blend colored pencils and that's how I created the cloud. If I were to change anything with this piece I would add more shadows or more shading to it. This is my second piece. The medium that this piece was made in was traditional artwork colored pencils on paper. This picture is a reference to the Greek sculpture Winged Victory. Although Winged Victory is a marble sculpture in real life, I tried to make it look as though it is made out of ice. One thing I learned while creating this piece was how to create lighting on water. And another thing I learned was how to add shading to fabrics. This is my third 
colored art piece. I made this one using colored pencils, and it is done traditionally on paper. This drawing is based on a 1500s religious book called the Book of Kells, and the theme for this project was belief systems. I referenced Dr. Seuss's book, What Was I Scared Of? And I also referenced its message because it was it had the theme that sometimes things aren't as bad as you think or that you won't be scared of something forever. And I thought that could work as a belief for an idea that someone might have. So I combined the ideas of the style of that book and the styles of the Dr. Seuss book. And I created one image and I, something I'm proud about it is I think that the colors look very nice. They're very vibrant. I think that the patterns in the top corners of the pictures match pretty well to my reference. This is my piece. I created this using markers and pencils on paper. The goal of this project was just to create something that I liked, and so I used my markers because I like you to make this piece and I think one of the difficulties of this piece was creating a lighting effect on the light bulbs on the lower half of the picture and I had some trouble with perspective because the top half of the picture I feel is bigger than it should be but I do also see improvements like how the tree in the background is better than how I drew trees in the beginning of the year. This is my fifth art piece. The medium for this drawing was digital art, so I used an iPad to make this. And this drawing is based on 1950s and 60s pop art. The art of this time used lots of bright colors and modern cultural symbols. It used a lot of polka dots, stripes, and other effects to create like visually striking images. And I used digital medium to make this project because it was easier to get the effects, such as making the background look like it does, and getting the texture to look right on the topping. Hi, my name is Aiden, and I did a self-portrait of me, and for my background, I watercolored it purple to represent my favorite color. I used different types of grays within the face to add shading to make the piece look realistic. I like how my portrait and how my background turned out, even though I can't usually draw people. This is a digital art piece I did based off art throughout the years. I made a mountain landscape to show off a bright look on nature, which is my theme. I liked how this piece turned out. I usually don't think I improve very much each time I do another piece when not using pencil and paper, but I feel like doing digital art turned out really nice. This is a galaxy I did. It is a free project and we had to go outside what we usually draw, so I decided to draw Earth really big and other planets around it. I really like this piece. I liked how the use of salt made the stars look rather than if I just used watercolor. I also like how the blue streak makes the galaxy look more colorful than just having a plain purple background. This is a piece that was inspired by the art era expressionism. I used the rainbow to emphasize the bright colors used within this time period. I also used watercolor for the sky to add a different texture. I like how the sky turned out, but I feel like I could have added more pigment on the grass to add bright colors. I also think I could have made the trees look more realistic. This is a picture of the Bible being read by squirrels. I did this based off the Book of Kells by adding my religion into it. This was made when we were learning about the different belief systems. I like the lines in the grass because they add texture, but I think I could have made it look more like the squirrels were actually reading the Bible. I did the Stonehenge in a different place to tell a story about how long it took to build this and how far the builders had to travel with the big boulders. I like how this drawing turned out, but I feel like I could have did a better job getting rid of the directional lines and blending the sky out better. For my self-portrait, the medium was color pencils. It is a self-portrait of me, and I used my laptop camera to make it. For my reflection, it was fun to draw myself. For our piece one, the medium was colored pencils. It is a flower that I drew, and it has a cool background. For the reflection, it was fun to draw. For our piece two, the medium was colored pencil. It is, I drew this because it was something that I made before and I wanted to remake it. Reflection, I like this piece because it is one of my favorites and it was fun to make. For our piece three, the medium was colored pencils. I drew a sunrise in between two mountains in this piece of art. For the reflection, I liked it because it was fun. For our piece four, the medium was colored pencils. It is a picture that I drew about the Italian Renaissance. For the reflection, I liked it because it was fun to make. For art piece 5, the medium was colored pencils. 
it is a tree that I drew and it has a colored background from the reflection. I like it because it is one of my favorites that I made. This is my self-portrait. I used pencils to make it. For my self-portrait, I gave a nod to Michelangelo and the studies he would do in his book. This was a study of my face. I like this piece because it had freedom to it. This is my photography project. The medium is photography. This is a photo of my sister and I remember it being really cold that day, but the weather, though cold, made an incredible sky and clouds. I like this because the sky looks cool. This is my modern art piece. For this project, I made a collage. I took inspiration from assembly art. I like this collage because it was really fun to make. This is my third art piece. I used pencils to make it. I went out of my comfort zone to try something new and I was surprised by the results. I like this piece because the proportions of the body are right and that's new for me. This is my final art piece. I used markers to make it. I made this outside of school because I was bored. My inspiration was Vincent van Gogh. I liked the colors I picked out and the way I put them together even though it was random. This is my self-portrait. I chose a picture from when I was in fifth grade and I broke my thumb. <clears throat> I decided to do my three favorite shows. The shows are Stranger Things, Riverdale, and Finn and Ferb. I was trying to make this piece look like it was the real space. I chose surrealism. That is why I wanted to make it look like it was a picture. My idea was to show that stars can be whatever you want. I wanted to make the first letter of my last name, but you have to turn the piece to see. I wanted to recreate the Mona Lisa but in space. But instead of Mona Lisa, a NASA space. I wanted to make me, my brothers, and my best friend playing our favorite game as our favorite games. I'm using my for the color dependence of a marker three. The piece is about a man fishing, but only the silhouette of the man. The piece is just in the water part of this piece. There are statues growing moss and other sorts of things. There are many ways I could have improved this piece, firstly by making it less streaky. Besides that, I feel this is pretty good, especially with the underwater portion of the piece. The medium I used for this piece was pencil and marker. This was my favorite project to do, even though it was a free project. It was still my favorite to do. The style I went is for the main piece in the middle, to draw the attention from the viewer. We learned this technique, but I forgot what it was called. I wanted to do one of my favorite scenes from my favorite anime. The left character of the main piece is a character named Sasuke. I then devoted the whole left side of the paper about the character Sasuke and his most defining moments in life. For the character on the right, who is going to be Tachi, I also devoted the right side of the paper to him as it was his final moments and his dying scene. I'm very happy with this piece and it is my favorite piece out of every piece I've ever done. This piece was very fun to make as drawing as, as I felt I was in the anime scene itself. The medium I used for this piece was watercolor and marker. This piece is what most of my family is proud of. For this piece, I decided to put some kind of meaning, but instead of making it so only I knew the meaning, I made it so the viewer could interpret however they thought it would best fit, which would bring out their true selves without them even knowing it. This piece was easy to make, but also messy at the same time, especially with the rainbow ring. I am pretty proud of this piece, but there are some places I could have surely improved. First, I feel like the ring is too far away from it, and that is not connecting it. Secondly, I feel that I could have made the rain more spread out and not columns of color. Lastly, I feel the edges of the rains are weak. The medium I use is for the pieces of marker and paints. This piece is based off of somewhere in the real world. This piece is mainly perspective and the way you look at it. This piece uses colors that don't usually go together, which is really good for this type of piece. This wasn't the best piece I've ever made, but I do think the water looks pretty nice. The sky did not blend as well as I wanted to, and I left too many parts of the piece white. And the buildings are the best part of this piece, besides the water. The piece is about a man fishing, but only the silhouette of the man. The piece is just in the water part of this piece. There are statues growing moss and other sorts of things. 
There are many ways I could improve this piece, but firstly by making it less streaky. Besides that, I feel this is pretty good, especially with the underwater portion of the piece. I'm getting a use for this piece for the color that ends to a marker. This piece is about a man fishing, but only the silhouette of the man. The piece is just in the water part of this piece, there are statues growing moss and other sorts of things. There are many ways I could improve this piece, but firstly by making it less streaky. Besides that, I feel this is pretty good, especially with the underwater portion of the piece. My medium is colored pencils and markers. This self-portrait I made shows my interests. I picked a cartoon style inspired by Pinterest. For the drawing, I changed a few facial features about myself. For example, my eyes, nose, and lips for more of a cartoon look. I enjoyed creating this project and liked how it turned out. I used multiple skin color pencils to create my desired color as well as a colorless blending pencil. This is my first, um, this is my art piece, and my medium was markers. This is my pop art style piece. This piece took me a lot of patience with the coloring, especially the outlines and details. Overall, I really enjoyed how this turned out, and one of my favorites. This is my second art piece. My medium was colored pencils. This piece I had to choose in my theme, which was Disney. The flowers in the background remind me of the blossom trees outside my window, so that's why I picked this image. I love creating this piece and my favorite one so far. Also, she is one of my favorite Disney characters. This is my third art piece. My, my medium was paper scraps markers, and watercolors. I was searching through Pinterest when I saw a art piece like this, but as a fox, so I recreated it with a turtle because I had never done anything like this. The final results I actually really liked with the plain watercolor background as well with the turtle. This is my this is my fourth art piece. My medium is was colored pencils markers and watercolor um this piece was also a part of my theme i picked winnie the pooh because it reminded me of the time when i was at disney world seeing the balloons there i enjoyed using watercolor for the project since since it's been a while of me using it the background reminded me of a tie-dye effect This is my this is my fifth art piece. My medium was colored pencils. This piece fireworks the colors remind me of one of my favorite memories of me spending my time for Fourth of July in Center City, Philly, watching the fireworks. I'm okay with how this turned out. I just wish I didn't color the background and the grass lightly with the colored pencils. The pencil. This is a self portrait of when I first got my hair dyed a different color. This did not turn out how I was expecting. I did not like the shading on my skin, and my lips were too big. Art piece two, medium, black and white. This is a sketch on a ballerina dancing in the spotlight, which goes with the time period we learned about in art class. I felt okay because it wasn't the best or how I really wanted it to be, but it came out right. Cardboard. This is a sculpture of a sneaker. This is my first time ever trying to attempt a sculpture for art. I really like this sculpture. I felt like really, really proud and what I have accomplished for this project. Marker, color pencil, and glitter. This is a sculpture about a group of people at a 90s dance party. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to fully color it. I wasn't feeling good about this because it didn't come out how I was expecting, but it wasn't bad. I did forget to add a disco ball to go along with the 90s party theme. This is a self-portrait I made. An important part of this is the style I drew it in. Since it is a self-portrait and I like anime, I decided to do that. I based the anime style of Dragon Ball Z. I like how this turned out, but I think I could have done better with the blending and the intensity of the colors. This was one of the first ones I did for the year. My theme for this year was nature and I decided this was a good start. I didn't really like it because at the time I didn't have good quality pencils and so all the white space in this picture was the result. This was the first and only watercolor project that I did. 
I didn't really like using watercolors, so I stuck to colored pencils. I decided that in most of my nature-related projects, I would have an animal or person somewhere in view. I am content about what I did for this. While painting the Northern Lights, I had a bit of a problem and almost messed it up. For most of these nature-related projects, are places that I want to go. For this one, I wanted to include a waterfall, so I made that the main focus of this. As mentioned earlier, I put a rabbit in the left of the drawing. I really enjoyed this because this one was with my new, better materials. The old color pencils didn't allow me to properly shade and blend colors. For this one, I wanted to use a lot of warm colors, so I did a first-person view of a portrait of the fall. I'm satisfied with how this turned out. I didn't think I was going to like how it turned out because I'm not good with certain angles. This one empty because I've got a notion that I'm going to be drawn out of wood, stone, and other materials. I wrote this drawing and how it turned out, but I put it up the with the coloring pen. Okay. For my self-portrait, my medium was pencil. I had a hard time with the hair and how to draw it because I've never drawn hair before. I was good at drawing the eyes because I often draw them. This project was slightly difficult, but worth it. This project helped me see how much I had proved in my artwork as well. Anyway, so for my piece, The Good Luck Demon, my medium was color pencil. The piece was inspired by Japanese festival masks and masquerade ball masks. I really like this project. It's one of my favorite ones this year. Something that was easy for me was the flowers and the ribbon. Something that would be hard would be the red circle because it was big and took a long time to like fill. There was also some there are also still some lines that are visible, but I really like it. So for my piece um Kelpie, my medium was watercolor. I wanted to do a Kelpie for my project because I hadn't drawn animals in a long time. Painting the horse was pretty easy, but doing the water was hard as I've never drawn water before. But all in all, I would say that I did a pretty good job. Alright, so for my piece, Moving Goddess, my medium was color pencil. Um, my piece was a gotcha based character. I was really good at coloring the clothes and the hair um, because it was all like simple color. But my fading from on the wings from blue to black was not that great. If I were to do it again, I would do it much better so that it would blend better. Alright. So for my piece, Man Fishing, my medium was ink. It is a monochrome painting that I did based on traditional Japanese paintings. I was good at painting the water in the buildings, and I was also really good at improvisation because I spilled water onto it, but and then I turned that into a man fishing with a fish jumping out of the water. So for my piece every day, my medium was color pencil. I wanted to do this in a cartoonist style to try something new. It's a forest with a river running through it. The trees and the mountains were easy to do, but I wasn't sure what to do with the sky, so I made it drippy. The dripping makes it feel like rain to me, but to someone else, it might feel more like the sky is melting. This is my self-portrait that I made on a Google Doc using ones and zeros. I feel like I could have put more effort into it because it doesn't really look like me and it was made really quickly. This is called Statue at Night. I made it on graph paper. It is a picture of an Easter Island statue at night. I really like how this one turned out and it's one of my favorite pieces that I have. This one is called Sky. I made it using a Google drawing. Um, it's a picture of the word sky in the sky. I really like how this one turned out because I got to use many different tools from Google Drawings. And I think I could have done better with how the sun looks, but other than that, I think it looks really good. This one is man playing a game. I made it using uh, pixel art. It is a picture of a man playing a game with the person looking at the picture. I like how this one turned out, but I think I could have made the pixel size smaller, so I could could have put more detail into it, like the into parts on the game, uh, detail in the pictures on the walls, and so on. This one is Glitchy Cliff. I made it using pixel art. It is a game character standing near a cliff while the screen glitches. I liked it before I put the effect on it, but the distortion kind of ruins it, and I definitely overdid it with the glitch. 
which is on the side. This is Pack Invaders. I made it with watercolor. It is Pac-Man and a Space Invader in space. This was my first project that I did. I don't really like it because I don't know what I was doing and it turned out really bad. Okay, for my first uh, art piece, I have my self-portrait. Um, this is my digital art piece. I used SAI paint and outlined my face. Uh, I also added some features from uh, from JoJo as that was the theme I was going off of since I didn't have to strictly say the, state of the Soda Brands theme. Uh, my reflection is I personally liked this project as digital art seems easier and um, it's, I can easily add more detail. Okay, for my second art piece, this was um, made on Pixlr. Uh, I used a template from the anime JoJo and I cropped out what was in the sewer, so there, there was pretty much just a green all there, and I had to remove it all with the um, cutting tool. Uh, I then added Sarkla and um, Jotaro, which are featured in the anime, and I put them in the sewer to foreshadow what might happen to per the person that is outside the sewer. And for my reflection, I said I would definitely do this again because I was able to use my imagination and not stick to my theme. My third art piece was also made on Pixlr. Um, I did a Sprite theme because my theme is Soda Brands. I added Soda. Um, I added Soda theme from the box and can, so the cans represent the, the uh, what is it? The uh, box cans represent the soda. Uh, I added a reflection of it in the background, uh, made it a bit transparent. Um, for my reflection, uh, I said, I think I, get, I could have done better with the background, but I was good with getting to use the features as this was one of my, my first times using Pixlr. My fifth art piece is, was also made in Pixlr. Um, this project was to reflect 1800s industrial working to, to the present time. I added workers from different photos and pasted them into different time zones. Uh, reflection, I think this project was a success because I was able to compare the two time zones using my theme. My next project was watercolor. Uh, this project was made off of an inspiration of a Mountain Dew advertisement. I added the slogan towards the left and the can towards the right. I mixed a bunch of red, yellow, and pinks in the background. Reflection. I think I could have added more detail to the wall by adding cracks in the can cutting through. My last art piece was colored pencil. Um, I used inspiration from a 7-Up poster and drew it on the watercolor paper. Uh, I made sure to include lots of colors, as so did the poster. Reflection. I think I, I think this project could have been better if I had filled in some of the white spots in the background. Okay, so uh, hi, I'm Tiffany. Um, here's my eighth grade art slide show thingy thing thing. Anyway, for my self portrait, I did it on digital. Um, some things that you should know about it is that this is one of my top favorite drawings I did though I am not a huge fan of how the arms turn out and I and it still somewhat resembled me but I kind of look kind of different from that now but uh, I was planning to use a reference photo of like me standing up but I didn't like how that ended up so I just did it for free draw but next time I do a self-portrait I want to include like maybe two other people in it to represent my other styles uh yeah um, moving on to the next one for my art piece number one it was Sasuke from Naruto we were testing out uh, watercolor paint um, I was really excited to do it since I'm a huge fan of Naruto but I was really debating on um, making either like making it Naruto or Sasuke so I just decided to go Sasuke because it was easier for me um, this was also my first time ever doing watercolor on a picture like that um, if I would want to do anything different with it, like maybe watercolor, um, I would probably just color pencil and uh, I regret the shorter. Yeah. Um, next one, uh, art piece number two. Uh, this is Death Kid from Soul Eater. Um, I, we were practicing color pencils and I just did it. I don't know, I just did it uh, 
um next time i want to include his full body maybe put a skateboard with it to represent his uh what he does in the show kind of um anyway uh our piece number three was the medium was watercolor and we were just practicing with paint and we were supposed to explain how like when like in old in the old times how they would like bury the loved ones underground because they couldn't do it like in like a public area and they wanted to show them love so i drew a girl crying because her family was starting to forget her and she didn't want them to forget her but next time i do do it i want to add less paint less water because that splittered everywhere um art piece number four i used watercolor and color pencil uh this was a free draw and i just wanted to draw one of my ocs with uh, my favorite character from hunter x hunter which is Fiton, if i even pronounce his name right uh I'm a huge, mm, this is probably one of my favorite drawings. I'm a huge fan of Fiton. Um, I really regretted the line I added so I can make her a waist. Uh, I don't like it at all. Um, next time I do it, maybe not do that, probably, you know. Um, the umbrella came out okay. Um, didn't like how his arm came out. I'll try better next time. Um. Uh, for my art piece number five, I did watercolor. And we were supposed to... Interpret, you know, like I can't pronounce the word correctly. Um, we're supposed to add uh, our art style from how people in Asia used to dress up like, and how their art used to come out as. So I just decided to do a kim a kimono. I think I said that right, a kimono, because uh, it really just stands out in part of the uh, Asian slash so Japanese culture. Um, I really hate the hands. Uh. The head's really big. The eyes came out terribly. But other than that, I like it. Um, that's the end. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you. I'm Lily Winkus. This is my self-portrait piece of my cat and I on the digital art app Procreate. I decided to use a simplistic geometric style to match what I've done in previous projects. I used a tool that would match the color in a space and drew the shapes over top. I really loved this project and how it turned out. It was super simple and satisfying to complete and fitting for a self-portrait. I'm Lily Winkus. These are my Spongebob houses. I used the digital art app Procreate, and I was inspired by the main characters of Spongebob's houses and decided to make them into stickers on a notebook as my own touch. I was okay with how this turned out. I think I could have added a little more detail to the stickers, but other than that, I liked how I added Lily's book at the bottom. I'm Lily Winkus. This is my waterfall in watercolor. My theme is water, and I wanted to do something other than an ocean scene, so I went with a calm waterfall. I used more water in some areas to create a smooth gradient effect and added some detail on the dirt cliff. I really enjoyed making this and liked how it turned out. I got to experiment with different techniques and made it simple at the same time. I'm Lily Winkus. This is my sea storm project in colored pencil. I made a simple wave during a thunderstorm to fit my theme of water. I included lightning coming out of the clouds to show the severity of the storm and a dark background to show it occurred at night. I was happy with how this turned out. I liked using colored pencils and enjoyed working in larger sections of color using lights and darks. I'm Lily Winkus. This is my sinking story in colored pencils. This was my storytelling project. I drew a book sinking to the bottom of the ocean to represent the ending of a story and the beginning of that story for someone else. This piece had more meaning than my other ones because of the theme. I like how this turned out, the story behind... This piece really carries how you see it. There is also some visible cross hatching, but that adds to the feel of the piece. I'm Lily Winkus. This is my Mount Fuji colored pencil project. I drew a view of Mount Fuji in Japan and captured the image using colored pencils. I included the cherry blossoms and Tori Gate. There is no meaning or story behind this piece other than the image itself. I like how this turned out. It was a simple version of a picture I found on the internet that I managed to color. I enjoyed coloring in larger spaces because I could shade, which is always satisfying.